Hey everyone, I was thinking about it the other day and I was like, you know, I want to do a little tech tip each week uh, related to Canvas. Now, I'm no Canvas guru or anything, but I thought that it might be beneficial to share some of the things that I know with some of you and maybe some of you could share what you know as well. Um, those of you that have used Canvas pretty extensively uh, see the benefits of it, but sometimes it's hard to see the possibilities when when you haven't really gotten into it and, and used it that much. So I just wanted to uh, share some short clips each week of you know uh, easy things to do in Canvas that could get you started or help you if you've already established a class in Canvas. Um, some things about Canvas. Canvas. First off, um, it's it's blended learning, right? So the kids learn online you can flip a classroom and they can they can learn at home and then come to class and you can discuss or they can use it in class and then you can do an activity after but it's meant to be used along with classroom learning that's really the best way to use canvas and sometimes in some classes you might lean more to the right on this scale sometimes you might lean more to the left but really um, it's just a tool to help you blend that learning to uh, kind of get the best of both worlds. So some things that I've noticed from Canvas, first off, um, you can grade pretty quick on there and you can do self grading quizzes and you really, it turns you into more of a um, person who gives feedback than someone that's just always lecturing all day. So kids can do an assignment and have pretty instantaneous feedback, which is important for them nowadays. You know, if they go a day or two and then see a grade after they, you know, they, a lot of times they've forgotten about that assignment, what they did, and doesn't mean as much to them. So one thing that I've noticed is that it really helps with grade feedback, um, given them that feedback that they need in a, in a, in a good timely manner. Um, if you feel like you have a ton of preps and you're overrun and you got large classes and you feel like quantity is just stampeding and mutilating quality, then Canvas is kind of a godsend in that it can help you um, balance that at least a little more. Um, some tips that I have with Canvas are to start simple. It's always work in progress, so you're never going to be finished course is always getting reinvented but also don't reinvent the wheel there's so many resources out there go and find a course if you can if not build your own but you know find one and then tailor it to your needs so um, I'm gonna show you a couple of mine some of these I've built from scratch and some I have borrowed from other people so it's engineering principles course this is from a guy at Granite Technical Institute. He helped write the state curriculum for the course. And all he does all day is teach this class. It's all he teaches. So it's really in depth, really good, way better built than I could have built it. But with that said, I don't use everything that he does. I tailor it to my needs here at a smaller school. So I'll go ahead and click on this course. Um, this front page, this is a layout that the district wants everyone to have. The reason for that, the reason why they want everyone having a similar layout is so that kids can more easily navigate your course from class to class. They could, it's just going to be familiar with them no matter what class they're in. Um, the reason that this layout's nice is that it's simple and uh, it's not overwhelming for them. So I'm going to go into student view on this. And we'll look at it um, over here on the left is the navigation you can see that it's reduced and you can do more than this but I try to make this as small as possible uh, obviously we're on the home page right now then I do everything in modules because it's just much easier for them to navigate and for you to um, organize and then I put the grades here if you have assignments and quizzes here, that's all right. But what I've noticed is a lot of times I'll click on assignments and quizzes and they'll get lost. So I put these three up here in the navigation. I mean, I simplified this map 
And then I put a link to modules right here as well. Um, one thing that we need to have, if, if you want to get the stipend for your course, this homepage is one of the important things. It should be a similar layout to this. So um, I'll show you guys, hopefully this video doesn't go too long, but I'll try to show you how to do this. Um, but yeah, so what I have is the title of the course. This is Mr. Warwood at Emory High. Here's the class times that I teach it. Here's a course description that I just pulled um, right off of the description for the course off the offline. And then down here I have a link to a syllabus. I didn't, I didn't paste my whole syllabus here because I wanted this page to be small and clean. But if you click on this, it goes to a Google Doc that has the syllabus. And then uh, right here, I have a couple extra things. So here's like, you know, the outreach for this course at the University of Utah. And then uh, a YouTube channel that they keep updated, um, the people that created this course. So if I go into modules, you'll be able to see more how this is organized. So my modules are, they're called units. So unit five, bioengineering is a module. Unit seven is a module. Unit eight is a module. Um, so that's how it's broken up. And we can be working in one module for a week or two weeks or whatever. And all their assignments are inside of this module. It's a nice, neat little package. You can have a quiz in there and assignments. So like I said, the guy that created this, this is all he does is this course. So if I were to leave student view, you'd see there's there's so much stuff in here. Okay, he's got this thing just packed full of stuff. And what I've done is I went in and just tailored it to my needs. And I use some of the stuff, I don't use some of the stuff, I change some of the stuff, and so on. So, um, yeah, this is uh, the layout. I'll do a video after this and I'll explain how to make your homepage.